Hello everyone. Soon we'll have our pre-release of Dominaria and today I'm going to sh give you a little bit of advices regarding how to construct a limited deck with your 6 booster packs and the playable cards if you're going to choose blue as one of your colors. My advice is that you construct a 40 cards deck, not more, stick to 17 lands and 23 spells and out of the 23 spells you need to have a minimum of 15 creatures. Divide the creatures regarding the mana curve and try to stick to two colors and avoid playing three or more colors in limited and constructed. As for the blue, these are the most and the best playable cards for blue for the common and uncommon. Opt one blue you scry one, you draw a card. This is a very versatile card and if you find this one and you're playing blue, put it surely into your deck. Wizard Retort, for one and two blue, you target ca you counter target spell, but if you control a wizard, this one costs only two blue. Unwind, two and one blue, you counter target non-creature spell and you untap back the three lands. This is a free spell, but only it is used to counter non-creature spells. Therefore, you can counter planeswalkers, instants, sorceries, enchantments, and artifacts. Arcane Flight, for one blue, it is an enchantment aura, and the creature that you enchant gets a plus one plus one and also has flying. Blink of an eye, one and one blue, and also has a kicker of 1 and 1 blue, you return target non-land permanent to its owner hand, if the spell was kicked, you also draw a card. Divination, 2 and 1 blue, you draw 2 cards, it is simple as that, and my advice is that this card is very powerful, and you should put it into your deck if you're playing blue. Weight of memory, 3 and 2 blue, you draw 3 cards, target player puts the top 3 cards of their library into their graveyard. It's a little bit costly, you need 5 mana to cast the spell, but you get 3 cards in return, and also target player removes 3 cards from his or her library. In Bola's Clutches, it is, a, it is a 6 drop, you enchant permanent, and you control the enchanted permanent. Also, the enchanted permanent is legendary. It's a little bit costly, again, 6, but you can steal the best creature of your opponent with this card. Time of Ice, 3 and 1 blue. You have 3 chapters. The first 2 chapters tar tap target creature opponent controls, and it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. And chapter 3 you return all tapped creatures to their owner's hands. It's an excellent remover spell, and I advise that you play this card if you have it. Syncopate, X, blue. You counter target spell unless it's controlled by X. If this spell is countered this way, you exile it instead of putting it into the graveyard. Artificial Assistant, this is a creature, it's a one drop, it's a one one flyer, and whenever you cast a historic spell, you can scry one. Merfolk Tister, 2 blue, 4 2. It has flash, and when it enters the battlefield, tap target creature opponent controls, it loses all abilities until end of turn. Sage of Latnam, 1 and 1 blue. You can tap it, you sacrifice an artifact, and you also draw a card. Last, Tetsuko Omezawa Fugitive, 1 and 1 blue, it is a legendary creature, it is a 1-3, and creatures you control with power or toughness 1 or less can't block Tetsuko. These are the best cards for the blue, subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering.